Well, Thomas, do you feel a point is fair this afternoon? Ah! Ah! I had a feeling before the game, and I said that to, to the players. If we went out here and put a top performance in, we'll get three points. Um, and I think we put a top performance out in general, especially first half were, were outstanding, I must say. The way we <laughs> went out there with, you know, big personality, want to dominate this game on the way we want to play, just impressed me so much, uh, I must say. Uh, pressing them, um, closing them down, you know, dominating on the ball, creating the chances, getting up 1-0. Um, and it's just a little bit frustrating that maybe one shot on target in the first half and that's a corner where they score. But, um, but that's football and that's why West Brom are top of the, um, top of the table. Second half, we stayed in there, in, you know, in the tough spells, we still defended well, and we still um, hang in there. And then we got through it and then we were on top of the game and we could maybe create um, uh, opportunities. Uh, but we didn't have that extra margin or that little bit of top quality to get three points you need on, on a day like this. And sometimes I think it's also just like that what's happening, you know, we played top, top performance but we maybe just um, didn't get the three points. You talk about you need, needing to come away from home with, with a big personality. Do you feel that this is a group in general that, it, that is growing their personalities? Oh yeah, growing massively. You, you could see um, uh, coming in the half time, they were a little bit frustrated, but I just waited, talking to the coaching staff. They, hey, hey, stay positive. It was a top performance. Stay positive. Get that goal out of the head, and then we go on again. Coming in after the game, and people were ah, it should have been three points, and that that's a top feeling, and you can see that they they just they just grow, and this this need to be an experience we need to build on um, going forward. Because say so that. The comments from a lot of the West Brom fans that, that, that we heard were that this is the the toughest test they've seen here this season for sure. Um, yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, uh, to be fair, um, I haven't watched all West Brom's games at home uh, this season. I watch a lot, uh, but I haven't seen a team like us coming here and dominating, um, which I hope everybody involved in the club uh, are proud of. Uh, I'm certainly am, uh, and I think a lot of people should be. Um, and also that the way that they, they constantly try to change things to uh, to stop us, or instead of playing out from from the back, they, they kicked longer because our press was really good, um, and especially first half they couldn't catch us. So, and what the the, the, the other bit is, I just mentioned before, just want to um, reinforce it again. Second half, when you're not on top of your game 100% throughout 45 minutes, which will be crazy if you could go here for 90 minutes and just dominate. We just stayed in the game, no matter what happened, still defended, you know, hanging there in the, the tough spells, suffering together, that big togetherness, and then went when we were on top of it again and, and got opportunities, crazy that. That's very impressive. And without Pontus, the captain, uh, mm. as well. Yeah, 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 100% agree, I must say. Um, Jules and, um, and Ethan, uh, stepped up today and had a had a good game together. Very very impressive and and the other boys need to step up and, and Henrik as a captain also needs to take more responsibility and, and they did. What's the what's the diagnosis on Pontus? Is he gonna be okay for the rest of the Christmas um, period? The plan, the hope is that he's ready for Swansea. Um, it's the, a minor hip uh, a minor hip injury. Um, that that was the same problem against um, Jeff Wednesday. So we are expecting him to, to be ready for that game. And again, uh, 1,400 travelling fans oh. who never stop singing. No, never stop singing. I think actually uh, there was only one team's fans singing in the first half. Uh, what I could hear, it was pretty quiet uh, from the fans around me. But uh, the away end was uh, constantly going and uh, that, that's helping us massively. And we are hoping they, of course, are ready for Boxing Day, but also keep travelling and keep helping and supporting us that massively, uh, the Spikfoss.